I'm Leanne Stroud. I'm with the Madisonville Police Department. I've been there for almost eight years now, um, and I have spent the last four years as a detective. A large majority of my family are farmers, and the other majority are in law enforcement. I always wanted to be part of the family business, and I'm not a very good farmer. So I went ahead and went with the law enforcement side. You know, it was a real inspiration to me, um, and I wanted to grow up to be just like them. My first job in law enforcement was as a deputy jailer uh, in Callaway County, and I spent approximately three years uh, dispatching for the state police until I was hired on by Madisonville as a police officer. And I was a patrolman for mm, three and a half years to four years, and then I went straight from that into being a detective. Helping children that have been in abusive situations, um, getting to remove them from those situations that they're in um, and get them into a safe environment. There's nothing like seeing those children weeks, months, years later. Uh, and they run up to you, they remember your name, they give you a hug, they might have a drawing for you or a necklace that they made, you know, because they were thinking about you. You know, it's sad when they can't get that from the people that should be giving it to them. So it's very rewarding to be able to be that person for someone that you didn't even know until they saw their worst day. I'll just say I love working for the Madisonville Police Department. Um, I consider each and every one of those guys family. Um, I do. I have 40 some odd brothers and one fantastic sister. So we have a really good time. Um, myself and the other female officer, we have a whole group that we stand for. You know, there's not many women in law enforcement and we understand that. Uh, we wanna be one of the boys. We enjoy being one of the boys. But sometimes, you know, there comes a time when you have to admit, yeah, you're just a little bit different. But the guys, they do. They treat us like they're, like we're one of them. There is a place for us. You know, sometimes, especially when dealing with small children. So if we can be an inspiration to some little girl out there, then I think that's wonderful. I can't tell you how many times I've just, I've looked at a child and wondered, you know, how this could happen to them, but also know that I was able to stop it. It changes your life. You never really look at it the same. But, you know, then there's also, <laughs> I remember this little old couple um, several years ago. I was still on the road, and uh, he had started to have uh, Alzheimer's, and he had gotten lost. He was driving. He was just supposed to go to the store and come home, um, and he got lost. And his wife called because she hadn't, he hadn't made it home yet, and she was starting to get worried. Well, I heard the call come out. Lo and behold... He was a few cars in front of me. So uh, I got him stopped um, and asked him, you know, do you know where you are? Are you, where are you trying to get to? And he said, oh, sweetheart, I'm glad you stopped me because I've been driving around forever. I just can't seem to find my house. I said, well, that's fine. We'll get you there. So he got a police escort home uh, and he was extremely excited to be there uh, and his wife was very appreciative so it's just the little things you know just getting a gentleman home